And hello fellow gamers, I am back playing more Banjo-Kazooie this time. I am indeed going to press start. The last time I played, I think I played uh, Clanker's Cavern. I'm going to pick up on the same file right from where I left off. And as usual, I am playing on a real N64, real uh, Banjo-Kazooie cartridge, and real N64 controller with fat-ass rumble pack in the back. So I don't know if the batteries are good, so it may rumble sometimes, it may not. So to go this way now, I think um, from what Jay on the live stream chat is telling me, that the next level in order may be Bubble Gloop Swamp. Oh, I get to stomp out Grunty's eyes here. I did that in my last session. Get in the thing. <laughs> and I get a juggle. Yum. Oh, welcome, uh, Wolfang129, viewer on previous streams. Says he's changed his name to SJ Rathbun812. Okay. Um, thanks for tuning in yet again. You're just in time. I just started playing. So up over there is, I think, where the painting was for Bubble Loop Swamp. I already filled that in, didn't I? Let's verify. Yeah, I filled that in already. Okay, so uh, through there, uh, I think that was Clinker's Cavern in there. And down there, it's Treasure Trove Cove, means the only other way to go is right up here through the note door. <laughs> and Big Ass Grunty, no, that's not the boss, that's just the statue. She's pointing both ways, which is the two ways you can go. Many tricks are up my sleeve. To save yourself, you'd better leave. <laughs> and looking at that piranha right down there. If you jump in there, he I don't know that he comes after you, but if he happen if you happen to like touch him or wander into his path, then he will bite. I don't think it's instant death. But uh I'm gonna look over here anyway. The only way to get that jiggy right there is uh, in one of the levels, I forget which one. But there is a grunty switch, and it blows open the top of her hat. And then you fall in all the way from that hole down all the way to the bottom, and then those bars lift up. What's over oh, until this back here? She says, My lazy sister often sleeps on a pile of treasure. Hmm, the dirty hag. Charles says, the only thing she's ever won was the dirtiest undies competition at which school? <laughs> dirtiest undies. She often boasts of appearing on the cover of Fat Hag Monthly sitting on her broomstick. <laughs> uh, Esther Rathburn812 says, you can kill the fish with golden feathers. Indeed I can. I actually, um... You reminded me, I got that in Clanker's Cavern, so I'm gonna kill that fish. <laughs> Fuck! Ah, Jesus Christ! He really chumps. <laughs> I did not land on him. I landed in the water and that canceled the move. <laughs> yeah, eat it! He just gives you a honeycomb now. Don't really need those feathers, so I'm not going to get them. I don't remember exactly what's this way, <laughs> but we're going to find out. I think it is Bubble Glue Swamp. Anything up here? Sometimes they put mumbo tokens in places like this. Uh, 
Uh, as Jay Rathburn 812 says, you can also kill Snacker the Shark, uh, who is in Treasure Trove Cove that we saw in the previous, uh, actually two parts ago. It says you can kill him uh, with the gold feathers as well, but he respawns. It says you can also kill that piranha by doing the ground pound. Uh, the Beak Buster, I think is what the move is called. Can I not get up on that one? Yes, I can. Oh, there's one up up there. No. Hmm. I can see it's quite hard work to lump around that squawking jerk. Oh, that was a diss. Great at Kazooie. Now this in here is, I think, a dead end at something, and, uh, oh, the Brintels is in here, okay. I was thinking of a different tube. My foul sister's favorite sport is loogie flicking. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> Jay says, go, huh? <laughs> Although she's dim, she attended Fat Hag High. <laughs> You won't believe that Gruntilda's party trick is blowing balloons up with her butt. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, best game ever. This game wins. <laughs> Maybe this is the tube I was thinking of. Um, yeah, it dead ends with these boots. Keep your feet out. You can't use us until you've spoken to bottles. Which I think I get that move on uh, this next level. And indeed, you can't walk anywhere in there uh, in the swamp because there's. Even though it's uh, shallow enough that you can uh, wade in it, there's lots of invisible, deadly things that will start chewing on you instantly. It's not instant death. You would you do get an opportunity to jump out of it. And then back over there, you see there's a whole thing that I can't get to yet. Because I gotta cross all that nastiness. Okay, bubble blue slump. Bottle says, keep your eyes open for your new move, beak face. <laughs> so these dudes, there's like four of these in the level. Shoot an egg in, once aimed properly and timed properly. Cructus. <laughs> he disappears. And then another one reappears in another place. They want yummy egg too. So once you complete the sequence of them, then you get a jig... Really? The game's gonna give me the new move right here? Okay. These are the waiting boots. Chicken Legs wears them so you can safely wade through dangerous areas like the swamp for a limited time. Okay, chicken, er, Kazooie. <laughs> Let's go grab a pair. I'd like to grab a pair right now. Great. Now you know all the swamp's new moves. I also see that the uh, stream's trying to die. Apologies, peeps. My internet connection isn't doing so well lately. Hey, we have someone new in the chat, uh, Haney MC. They ask, can you beat Grunty as Wishy Washy Banjo? I didn't know you even could get that far. As Wishy Washy Banjo. Is that even a move in this game, or is that Banjo-Tooie? trying to remember. I'm sure Jay knows. <laughs> or perhaps Haney MC, since they're asking. Uh, I'm trying to decide if I should go back out and use those boots. It doesn't really matter when I do that. I can do that later. 
The boots are on the outside and the tunnel is on the outside, so I can just do it when I come out of here. There's Mumbo token back there. I think I'm gonna get those boots. Go get that Mumbo token. See, now I can walk freely in here. But they do run out, as signified by the music right about now. <laughs> No. <laughs> Banjo's so sad to lose the happy boots. Cat was over there messing with uh, the blinds on my front windows. There's probably another cat out there. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to demonstrate, since I never did, since I just talked about it, demonstrate what happens if you jump into the swamp without the boots. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> it says piranha water, keep your smelly feet out. Dude, I don't think my feet are going to have much of an effect on that. It's already pretty fucking nasty. Uh, SJ Rathbun says... Uh, 812 says you can't become the uh, the washing machine in this game. banjo lets you become a washing machine and actually do stuff. Major kazooie is it's just a joke. That's right, I remember now. Um, sometimes whenever you go to do a mumbo transformation, it'll randomly turn you into a washing machine by mistake, and then mumbo will be like, uh, uh let me try that again. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever actually had that happen to me by mistake um, in all the time that I've played this game. It must be somewhat rare. Maybe it'll happen while I'm playing in this particular series of videos. That would be cool to get it recorded. Oh yeah, now I gotta haul ass up there. Missed a thing, but I can go back. Oh shit, 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 shit. Make it a little easier on this last part. Let's just go. <laughs> there we go. SJ Rathman812 says, I used to save my gold feathers and never use them unless it was absolutely necessary. Me too. Because you only get ten of them. And so um, I would save it for a situation like if I was stuck in the swamp right there. If I'd like fallen from a great height into a huge one. Um... I don't know, can you turn on your gold feathers in the swamp? But yeah, in case you fuck yourself, it's kind of like a safety net. <laughs> he, he says, now I like to use it on the gold feathers on all kinds of enemies because it's fun. <laughs> uh, and Haiti MC clarifies, I was curious whether you can uh, beat Grunty as the washing machine. He says, I was curious because I couldn't find a straight answer on Google. Um, maybe through a glitch, you could keep the washing machine move, and maybe through other various glitches, you could actually get to Grunty's room, per se, as the washing machine. But, um, since in this game, the, f the official way to do it is just a, it's just a joke. There's no way to actually be the washing machine for more than a couple of seconds. And in the second game, even though it is a move, there's still boundaries for how far you can use a move. I'm sure that there's a boundary that will cancel the transformation before you can get to Grunty in the second game. Bitch. Come on. These guys are not that hard. <laughs> close. Bitch, fucker. Oh, 
I'm using Kazooie to get these guys because once you start Kazooie's um, beak attack move, you can still kind of direct it in the air, whereas if you're rolling his banjo, you can't. I get their gold. S.A. Rathbun says if you get Cheetos cheap for gold feathers, you can have 20. Now, is it just in Banjo Tooie? Because if it is possible in this game, I would think that you would have to do it through one of the Sandcastle codes. Which are not official. I mean, they work, and they were published in Nintendo Power. But, uh,. The game doesn't actually tell you the codes. Okay, so um, I think there were some notes up here that I missed. I fell off. Oh, god damn it. See that gold feather down there? <laughs> If I had the uh, boots, I could get that just fine. Or, you know, I could use a gold feather to get the gold feather, which would be totally pointless. Oh yeah, there's this dude still. Let's fart one into him. <gasps> hey, fucker. I'm supposed to eat it. Oh, jeez, I almost fell off again. up here. Okay, that goes back to the entrance. I've done everything that way. By default, I always go left. Over here was the flibbits, but I didn't go any further. Or no, this was not the flibbits, but there are some here. It's just not a contest thing here. More booties. Okay. Couple things to do here. Let's do the boots first. There's some pick upables around. Get out of the thing. Around the edge of this wall. See, there's a note right there. Get the thing. Oh, 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 get it, get it, up, 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 up. Okay. <laughs> and get the camera in a little closer so it's not stuck on the wall. Okay, bust that, and then bust it on that side, and then bust it again on the top, and then bust it again over here. No, do it. The fuck? Am I retarded? Let's try this. There. Oh my god, it's a fucking Matryoshka chest. How many are in here? <laughs> ah, SJ Rathbun's uh, 812 says that Cheeto's cheat for the 20 gold feathers is in this game too. You have to do it in the Sandcastle because it is a Sandcastle code. It says for the Cheeto codes, you are told the codes in the game, but not all of the codes. Um, just a few of them. But you're right though, there are like uh, maybe, what is it, like three or four of them? And then the ones that do the additional stuff, like unlock the special items that you otherwise cannot unlock, um, those are never told to you anywhere in the game. This is a 
where the flibbits were. Let's go left right here too. Bitch. Oh boy, here comes uh I just remembered that this is going towards uh, one of the most challenging parts of the game, for me at least. Because uh, Jay knows what's in here. It's inside this giant crocodile. I actually don't know where to go with these shoes. So, there's some eggs, but I don't really need them. Let's just, uh, let's cancel this. You can hit B to cancel those boots at any time. And you can go in through the nostril on either side of this, but not as Banjo. Dragonfly right there is called Buzz Bomb. <laughs> okay. Just checking out the lay of the land here. Okay. Yep. In there is where I'm going to transform into this level's transformation. Right after I wander through this nasty maze. Now the camera for this part is actually really, really, really good. I'm not doing any camera control right here, this is all the game. tight and getting over there fast enough is quite difficult because when I step on the switch a geez, camera's getting stuck on stuff when I step on that a jiggy is going to appear on that other side and I have very limited time to get there can I do it as just banjo nope <laughs> well I could if I stayed up there <laughs> Exploding Jiggy. That's okay, it'll come back. The switch goes back up. Might as well get this other stuff down here while I'm over here. Never mind the fact that I'm standing on giant penises. This is what I need the boots for. Are the ones, yes, uh, the ones over there are easier to get to. Because you know there was the ones up on top of the crock, and then there was the ones up there. It'd be easier to get those and just come over here. They really squeeze that time out. See, this is where the game starts to get challenging. It doesn't quite reach the point of demanding perfection, which, you know, would be pr frustrating. 
I'm thinking that the way that Rare came up with the times for some of this stuff is they had, like, their playtesters do one of those tasks as fast as they could, and then they added a few seconds on top of it. Which is not a bad way to do it. back to here. <laughs> uh -huh. SJ Rathman A12 says that there are three uh, Cheeto codes that you uh, are told in the game. There's one that upgrades blue eggs, one that upgrades red feathers, and one that upgrades gold feathers, which, yeah, I remember that now. Uh, other codes you can get are from bottles, they're just gimmicks. And any other codes must be looked up outside of the game, but they are still usable in it. You just have to look them up on the internet or other sources. Yeah, uh, that's the ones that I was talking about. Um, Haney MC says, I always have trouble with the tip of choir. Yeah, I'm going to be doing that, and uh, that's probably going to stretch my memory to do that. SJ Rathman 812 says, I was actually able to beat the red crocodile, Mr. Vile, which I'm gonna, also going to do, without the running shoes, but it was close. I, I bet it was close. <laughs> it's close with the running shoes. Okay, let's try this again. I just kind of calmly walk instead of trying to run. Yeah, I got plenty of time. That wasn't so bad. SJ Rathman812 also says you can't beat Boggy the Bear, who is in um, Freeze Easy Peak, which we haven't seen yet. It says you can't beat him without the running shoes. That's for the, um, the sledding competition, isn't it? But oh, God fucking... Oh. I'll try to find out if this works. <laughs> and it does. So yeah, now I gotta get back up there again. Why, you may be wondering? Because there's some more maze that I didn't explore. SJ Rathman at 12 does indeed confirm that uh, the running shoes are for, in Freeze Easy Peak, are indeed for the sledding competition with Boggy. There's more boots right there, and you can keep going in this. And the mud bomb. I can't do the. <laughs> can't attack it when the boots are still active. Die. And those boots right there are just to go back, since otherwise you could be trapped in here. You can see it dead ends at this uh, mumbo hut, and then the transformation is what actually allows you to go out through the slot in the ground right here. But if for some reason you don't have enough mumbo tokens when you get here to transform, then those boots will at least let you get back, go this way, back to the opening, and then you can still get out. If 
Oh, wow. SJ Rathbun 812 says that uh, he, di he tried the sledding race against Boggy. He says he got a minute behind Boggy, and Boggy canceled the race because it, he s said that... Uh, he said that he, the player, was too slow. I'd forgot that he actually does that. It may actually happen to me when I get there. Oh, there's a thing up there. But when I get a thing, yummy. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> don't jump on the flame. Let's see if there's anything else up here besides red feathers. Nope. Okay. Hit me, Mumbo. Ah, uh, you find big hidden feature spell. Not really. Mumbo turned Banjo into T-Rex crush with... Huh? T-Rex? No. Changed mind. T-Rex spell too good for this game. Mumbo keep for next game. I was gonna say! That's in Banjo-Tooie. That must be something else random. I've never seen that happen before. See, this is what he really turns you into, the little crocodile. Mumbo need new boots. Only kidding. <laughs> so this little dude is actually pretty nice here in the swamp. Yeah, get the Hit a Mumbo token right behind his chair. So this, uh, the crocodile guy is actually really nice here in the swamp because, let's demonstrate. He can walk around in the swamp very, very easily without dying. <laughs> in the, put that grating right there so you can see on the inside but you can't go through. Actually, he also controls pretty well too. So you may be wondering why I didn't just go over there and use him to get that jiggy that was on the ledge. Well, that's because as long as you're the crocodile, you can't push down on switches because you can't do the uh, the uh, the beak buster. Yeah. All right, let's get this over with. <laughs> Go do Mr. Vile. Ah! SJ Rathbun812 says uh, he forgot about the T Rex spell. He says I swapped to a different tab so I didn't see the T Rex. Uh, you didn't miss anything actually because I didn't actually transform. Like it started to do it, but then uh, it stopped right at the end before Banjo transformed into anything. Get it. Oh. Uh, that just goes out the other nostril. Okay, so that's Mr. Vile right there. There's no significant pick upables. It says, Hur, hur, hur. I'm Mr. Vile, greediest croc of all. Play my game to win a prize. Press A to accept or B to chicken out. Fucker, let's dance. Game is simple. Eat more red yumblies than me. The red yumblies will pop up here in a second out of all those holes that are around me. So I'm actually pushing B to eat these. And one thing you can uh, do to speed this up is, if you're kind of far away from one, pushing B to initiate the chomping actually gives you a little bit of a speed boost. Ah! 
take it right out of his face. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you win by being a dick. You only win easy game. Now we play harder game. Eat reds, avoid yellows. They not ripe. <laughs> Three, two, one. What? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hang on. SJ Rathman812 says, I have to go. You'll post a stream later again, I think. Indeed, I will. Thank you for tuning in while you could. Okay, so only eat the red ones. This is where it gets tough. When the screen... I, fuck. Also, it sucks when you miss them. But when the screen gets full of the yellow... The umblies. If you're not sure where to go, uh, just follow Mr. Vile. He tends to go towards the nearest one. See, I'm down one. Oh, a tie! A tie! That's never happened! No, no, you didn't... you didn't win. You didn't win. That was a tie, fucker. Yeah, and then he gets to chew on you. Ass bag. Oh, uh, but SJ Rathbun812 also says, uh, you'll post a stream later and again, I think. Yes, I will. I may have already acknowledged that. <laughs> So do, do I have to start over and do them both in a row? We play game two again. Okay. I don't have to do the first one. What really sucks is when you get close to a red Yumbly and then it disappears. Like that. Keep fucking missing them. Keep fucking missing them. The thing about using the B for the boost is that if you do miss, then controls temporarily get a little less responsive. Like 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 that. God damn! Down four that time! See, this is freaking hard. <laughs> Can I actually get out of here before he chomps me? Ha! I can! Fucker. And this would be... E oh, shit. Do I have to repeat the first game again? Try again. Oh, fuck! I left! So now I gotta do the first one over.
Ah! Eat that fucker. Of course, that was just the first one. I wasn't trying. Let's play next game again. Ready, go. No, don't eat that. Damn it! Fucking yellow one got in the way, and then it slowed me down. Suck it, fucker. Lucky Greeny Wins must play last game. <laughs> Only eat what is shown at the top of the screen. <laughs> okay, so it starts out with the red. Which is the yellow. fucking red. Come on. No, damn it! Fucker! Fucker! Ah! Yeah, whatever. Do it. Want to try again? Yes. Because I'm getting your goddamn jiggy. I swear this is one of the hardest jiggies in the game to get. Damn it! Fucking bunch of yellow ones and they just fucked off. Okay, good, it kept that one. Because I was already eating it while it was changing. Ah! Fuck you! Did it! By taking him out of his face again. Greeny can have prize. I'm gonna bite you, fucker. <laughs> I should get to bite you. A tougher challenge of Greeny not scared. You must win next three games to win three extra lives. But each time Greeny loses, Mr. Vile chomps you for one life. That's not worth it. <laughs> Beat a slide off like a slug. I'm gonna be a slug today. Fuck you. Taking my jiggy and fucking off. Whew. Okay, the rest of the game's gonna be a cakewalk. <laughs> or at least the rest of this level. That was like the number one thing I was worried about in doing this segment. Okay, so I think, uh, let's go this way. 
because there's some stuff on the bottom here that I can pick up while I'm the crocodile. anything. I need I did. Bitch. Fly at me. basically can't go any further in this section of the level as the little croc because you can't use this thing. Let me still jump around on the bottom here. So, which I actually I think I will do because just in case I fall in the swamp I'll still be okay. Don't know that there's anything actually up on these platforms other than those boots. a large collision box. Look at that, he, his head's pushing me, even from way over there. <laughs> I can't do anything for Tank Tough right now, because I have to squish his feet, believe it or not. out of this croc that I'm going to get, so I'm going to go change back. Oh, I can still get this uh, gold feather here. I did all of Mr. Vile's games without needing the running shoes. Because you probably noticed at the top of the screen while I was in there, there was a little uh, pair of uh, little white shoes that were kind of walking in place, but they were grayed out. That's because I haven't unlocked that move yet. That comes in a future level. And I was hoping that I was going to be able to do that in this segment, that I wouldn't have to remember when I get the running shoes in the, a future level to come back and do that. Nope, nope, don't. Not trying to eat his crotch. Just want to change back. Eating the crotch is for the X-rated version of the game. Which totally exists, by the way. Can I actually use Mumbo's big ass head here to get out of here? 
Yes, I can. In fact, I could go up on top and just walk around on the maze. I don't know if there's any benefit to doing that. And I don't really want to... Well, I do want to find out, but if I fall off the side, which is extremely likely, then I'll fall right into the swamp and then have to get back to a safe place. Oh, there's a gold feather. It was hidden there in the corner because the camera's in auto mode while I'm right here. And it was hidden almost off camera in that little corner. Oh. Bruh. Get it there. thing here. I saw those eggs out of the corner of my eye, so decided to uh, make sure that they weren't mumbo tokens or something. Boom! <laughs> and out comes another shock spring jump pad thing. And another. Until the switch, which means it's going to go back to the lair. And that blew open her hat, just like I said. I think it's still a while, though, before you find the hole to actually land down in there. So you can use, you can still see the columns right here, so you can use those as a guide for where you're supposed to jump even though you can't see where you're going to land, so I think the next one is right in front of me there. It is not. <laughs> it's the other one. That yeah, fuck flew right over it. Hey, NMC says this part is tough without running shoes. Um, even though you just posted that now, from what I can see, I guess you were talking about uh, the Mr. Vile thing? Which, yes, it was. that was friggin' hard. I don't know if I made it look easy, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> you can always tell how hard something actually is based on the amount that I yell while I'm doing it. <laughs> I was yelling pretty good there. Went the wrong way. That's got the jiggy in it. <laughs> hey, NMC also says, do you like uh, Banjo Kazooie or Banjo Tooie more? Um, it's kind of, it's kind of tough to say. Uh, Banjo Tooie is definitely the more evolved of the two games. Um, there's certainly a lot more you can do. Uh, the collecting in it is a little more streamlined. There's a lot better, a lot, I shouldn't say better, there's a lot more use of the transformations, and there are more transformations. There's uh, more in the way of mini games. There's better ways of aiming, uh, both um, while you're flying and when you're underwater. Uh, the first game runs better, though. Better frame rate overall in the first game. And that's probably simply because in the second game, you know, they use higher resolution models and higher resolution textures. So the, the second game looks better. That's a bit better. <laughs> he likes it even though he yells when you stomp on his feet. Ugh! <laughs> I like that voice. Ugh! <laughs> 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 
but he blows one out. Tanked up to warm at last. Perhaps you'd like this. So we've already went inside a crocodile's nose. Now we're going to go into a turtle's mouth. <laughs> well, might as well get the notes and get those out of the way. Oh, only need three more. They're probably over here. Quiet, please. The famous Tip Tip Choir will now perform my latest work. Barp. Barp. Okay, so this is where you start a game of memorization. Bit short, isn't it, Shovel? <laughs> we'll see. Copy what you just heard for lesson one. Yeah, I got all the notes. Okay, so you have to remember the camera angle from where he did it. Okay, he's going to do it again. So it goes bottom, right, left. So it's from his perspective. No, I'm trying to get up there so I can position the camera. <laughs> Drummer says, I haven't been watching closely, but it is a relaxing background music. Yes, this game has very, very good music in it. Okay, so like I said, you have to remember the camera was from his perspective, but you can't adjust it. So you have to remember that this turtle right here is what was towards like the bottom from his point. So we do this one, and then the light blue, and then the red. Hmm, not too bad. Try lesson two. So it's going to do the same sequence again, and then add one more. Or not the same sequence again. I think I already forgot it. Will you, will you repeat it? Much more carefully this time. See, I didn't know he actually repeated this. Right, bottom, left, bottom. Okay. That one. Uh, this one? one again. Splendid. You just need one more lesson. Shit. <laughs> uh, I think I already lost it. I did. I already lost it. Show me again. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That. On the far left. Yellow. Red. That one. Okay. Hit it while I can still remember it. And... Fuck, I think it was this one? Nope! <laughs> Try again or ask me to repeat the lesson. Maybe it was this one. Hey, somebody new in the chat again. Uh, this is uh, the great... Devakian 135, if I'm pronouncing that right, says just need one more jiggy for the desert one. I guess um, I guess they're referring to their own progress, because I haven't been to the desert level yet. So I guess uh, you're playing through the game uh, yourself. That's cool. Uh, they also say yeah, rare games are known for some of the best music themes. Indeed, they are. 
I think um, out of my favorite video games, there are the ones made by Nintendo and the ones made by Rare, and of those, I love the music in the Rare games the best. They just have some truly excellent composers. Well, they did. And then they all... Things uh, weren't so great for them. So they all kind of jumped ship. It, it was that one. Okay. So that. 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 And then this one way over here. Again. Yay! I won! Magnificent, a true masterpiece. Here, take this trinket I found earlier. <laughs> gimme, 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 nom nom nom. Oh, there's a mumbo token behind him. I didn't see that. Dormer says Jeremy is my music. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody know that song? I know Jay, uh, Jay does. Hey, he says, I remember playing a demo of Banjo-Tooie in a Walmart back in 2000. I never did own a copy as a kid, however. That sucks. Um, I got one. I think I got my copy of Banjo-Tooie maybe on launch day. Yeah, I think I got it from the local Target, and I pre-ordered it. Actually uh, drove myself there and picked it up myself. I had only recently uh, gotten a driver's license, I think, at the time. Okay, so um, is that it for this level? I'm still missing the honeycomb piece, and I'm missing the jiggy too. There's not more to do in here, is there? What say you do? Oh, okay, I'm glad I came up here. <laughs> He's not saying anything, though. So, the other jiggy... I'm still missing the last Croctus, aren't I? I bet that's what it is. So, where did that reappear? I think it was towards the start, which is over here. Or, no. There was, um, there was a little spot that I noticed when I found it didn't seem to have anything there. And I bet that's where it appeared. And it's not over here. And I bet it was over here. Or was it? Because there's the, the thing over here on the right-hand side with the buzz bomb. It has its own little... Oh, there it is. Okay. I think this might be the last one. It's not. <laughs> okay, so it's not over there. I have a vague idea of where it probably is. It's not in there. Was it over here with tanked up? I think maybe it was. Off on this right hand side. No, because that's where the beehive is. There it is. Yes! Give me nom noms. Nom noms. <laughs> And that is Bubble Gloop Swamp completed. Now, I am going to... I'm going to go do the thing. 
I'm going to exit the level and then do that uh, tunnel that's on the outside that I needed the boots to get through. Bloop. <laughs> Your best note score on that level was 100. The great Vakan 135 says, Oh, I'm playing uh, Banjo Tooie on Rare Replay, which is cool. That's uh, the Xbox One Rare game collection. The joystick for the controller on the N64 hurts my thumb. Yeah, it's um, not the best grip on the joystick. I mean, it, it does have sort of. I mean, your thumb can grab it, but after a while, having to push on that with those ridges like that does kind of hurt. And plus, um, how it, you actually have to push your thumb against the edge of it to, say, tilt it all the way like that. That can kind of hurt after a while. Um, but overall, for the first analog stick on a console game controller, it was pretty good. No game console controller ever did a stick like this, um, because shortly after the N64 came along, then Sony came out with the DualShock controller, the first DualShock controller for the PlayStation, and the analog sticks on it were designed differently than this, and then basically all subsequent analog sticks on all game console controllers were designed like that, including the successor to this on the GameCube and, you know, everything else. So I think Nintendo saw the DualShock sticks and said, hmm, that's a pretty good design. We'll copy that for GameCube. <laughs> And it is a pretty good design. Uh, it was this side, I think. Now, are they going to run out by the time I get there? Oh, wait a minute. There were more boots on the back side of the level, I think. So I don't actually need to use these. That's how bright they are, your stupid shorts. A target for my dumb cohorts. Were there not boots back here? They're not up on top, are they? Because I can't get up there. Okay, well I didn't... I was hoping I wouldn't have to do this, but looks like what I'm going to have to do is go back into the level, turn into a little croc, and then come back out and do that. So I'm going to do that. Hey, EMC says, did you ever get into the Oddworld games? I do have the first Oddworld for PlayStation. I played it a little bit personally, not on my channel. Um, I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. I actually didn't get very far because it gets kind of tricky fairly early on. Um, but, as a friend of mine later demonstrated to me, because she was actually really into the Oddworld games at the time, and she got quite far in them, she played the game and showed me uh, several tricks, and basically it comes down to um, knowing what to do on each screen in the game, like knowing the trick or the, uh, the mechanics that you're supposed to do. And so I'm sure that if I put a little bit more time into them, then I could get farther and I'd probably enjoy them quite a bit more. See, I was avoiding having to turn into this croc right here because I didn't want to have to do this maze again. I don't actually have to pick up these notes this time. Because I already done got them all.
It's like this time I'm gonna cancel the move as soon as I get to dry land. So that buzz bomb's not gonna fuck with me. I already paid him once. Subsequent retransformations are free. Yep. Okay, so now that I'm the little croc, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> just like what I did in uh, Mumbo's Mountain, where I turned into the termite and then left the level. You can do the same thing here. And I'm impatient, so I'm going to use the the bite boost. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call that. Hey, speaking of odd, <laughs> oddman845 has joined us. Oddman845 says hi. Hello. Did YouTube unsubscribe you again, Obman845? Because Obman845 is usually the first person to join my stream. Quite regularly, in fact. Which, thank, for that. thank you for that, by the way. If not for Obman845, I would commonly have zero viewers. <laughs> I'm in 45 says, stop starting four hours early, man. <laughs> He's exaggerating, that's why I'm laughing. I only started tonight about a half hour earlier than usual. Where am I going? I'm gonna be going this way. Usually I'm in 845 is poking me when I'm even five minutes late starting a stream and I use the quotes because I don't have like a hard starting time for the stream I say usually around 9 to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time on Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays and I say around 9 to 10 p.m. because uh, depending on what game I'm going to stream and on what system I'm going to stream it there could be uh, unexpectedly extended setup time required Can I do anything up here? No, I can't. I totally forget what you actually do with that, but... Since I'm aiming to complete this game at 100% eventually, I will figure out what I'm supposed to do with that. Oh, this is how you unlock Freeze Easy Peak. Bloop! The Gas Snowman. <laughs> Avenue 45 says his brother is there. Excellent. Says I can't really join, but I will be first on Monday. <laughs> he also says, nice teddy bear. He said, I saw it in the background of a few of your uh, hardware videos. Yes, indeed. Another series I'm working on right now is called Jeremy Builds. I'm building my DOS gaming console. And... Uh, the bear that he's talking about is actually sitting to my left right now. It's uh, this bear. <laughs> and that bear is a special bear. <laughs> in fact, I will link in the chat to show you why, because I'm not sure that this video is actually listed on my channel. But it is uploaded on my channel right now. My channel. And my videos it doesn't e it doesn't show up when I search my own channel <laughs> let's try searching from the video manager the back end that only I can see <laughs> it's not that special really <laughs> there we there it is okay so the bear that sits on my couch, and it always sits on my couch to my left because it's special. This bear right here. I will show you why it's special. In 
if I can remember, I'll also post that in the description for this video so that the people watching on the recording can also see it. Anyway, uh, the great Devadkin135 says, Damn, Freeze Easy Peak is my favorite theme out of the whole game. It is. It's a beautiful song, isn't it? It has lots of strings in it, and uh, I love string instruments. That and piano. So those boots are up there. So that makes me think that I can actually get in here as Banjo and Kazooie and probably bust that open. And then it puts the boots on top of the exit right there so that I can get back out as Banjo and Kazooie because otherwise it's the crocodile. I don't need them. Oh, Abandon45 says the link didn't work. Says you need to link the video. I did. Oh, it just didn't give me the link as I expected it to. Um, I can get a link this way. Okay, indeed that video is unlisted. This is making sure it wasn't private because then I'd have to unprivate it so that I could actually show it to you. Okay, try that link. I think that is actually where I'm going to cut it. Because I've done all of Bubble Goop Swamp and I did that thing over there. So uh, that's going to be the end of this video. Not the end of the stream though. So people on the stream, uh, stay tuned for the after show. Uh, but for the people watching on the recording, thank you for watching. I will be back in uh, the next couple of days or so with more gameplay or more Jeremy builds or something. I'm going to put up something, whatever it is. But uh, hope it'll be cool and hope you like it. So see you then.